self-improvement, personal development, or self-help. There are many phrases used for personal growth, and when many hear them, they groan with despair, as there's often a stigma attached to them that it's an industry out for nothing but money, and that what's taught is abstract and inapplicable in everyday life, with pseudoscience backing up the practices. However, if you're here and you want to understand how you can benefit from learning more about the process, then in this video, I intend to explain some of the reasons why self-improvement is a fundamental aspect of life. Number 1. Go past your comfort zone Most people live life within themselves. When young, they're often ambitious with huge dreams, but through experience they realise that life isn't easy, and do what they feel they're capable of. While there's a sense of security in doing this, it doesn't do anything to help you grow as an individual, and often what you find is people live out their lives in misery, feeling a sense of disappointment in where they are, or seeking comfort and pleasure in other activities. Part of personal development is to push past what's comfortable and really test yourself and your capabilities, seeking a true sense of growth and progression. Both of these points being a fundamental part of feeling happy, because things and achievements don't give long term satisfaction, it's a sense of making progress and growing as an individual that do. Number 2. Overcome Weaknesses Many of us feel insecurities and have issues with self perception about our weaknesses, which is something that's directly addressed when you aim to grow. It's not a case that you have to become a foremost expert in a field that you feel is a weak one for you, but rather that you grow to feel a level of competency and acceptance in these areas. This is fundamental in accepting ourselves and not feeling a sense of shame, from which you'll develop confidence, grow stronger as an individual, and feel happier about yourself. It's from developing our self-awareness and understanding that we can then push on to really focus on areas of our lives where we excel and can really help people. Number 3. Develop Strengths Part of the point of self-improvement is to understand about yourself, understand what you excel in and develop these areas of your life by developing techniques to help you progress in them. When you understand what you want and why you should pursue it, it's important to double down and really grow in this aspect of your life to help you achieve growth. And this is where personal development is of value, because the point isn't teaching you a specific skill, but it's about teaching you core skills that will help you accelerate your growth in that field. This might be teaching you ways to learn faster, to improve memory, to develop a growth or problem solving mindset, or to do practices helping you to perform at your best. Number 4. Increase Self Awareness I think the best way to explain this is to reiterate something I've learned from Landapani, which is asking the question of how often do you spend time with yourself. The thing is, we spend a huge amount of time in our lives doing things, giving time to others and their problems, and focusing on events external to us. However, what people don't do enough is spend time with themselves, dedicating time to check in with themselves and really going deep internally to understand if their life is in alignment with what they want, where they hope to go, and what they want to do. This is a critical element of personal development, a process to help develop self awareness and understanding to ensure you live life in accordance to what's within you. Number 5. Have Self Love Self improvement means a process of developing acceptance and love for yourself, who you are and what you can offer in your life to the world. This compassion for ourselves is fundamental to giving the best of yourself to others because if you don't accept yourself for who you are, then how is it possible for you to give true value to others? It's a bit like the emergency procedure on planes, whereby you're always told to put on your mask before you tend to others, which is done to ensure you're in a fit state to care for others. The same occurs in life in general, if you care for yourself first, you put yourself in the best place to care for the needs of others and their well-being. So with this in mind, focus on self improvement, as doing so will allow you to give the best of yourself to the world.
As you're here, I presume you have an interest in self-improvement, but what got you interested to begin with? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.